It looks like it's Christmas time. Let's see what's in the box. In this episode of Aston1936.com, I'm going to continue in my series on upgrading the infotainment system in my 2005 Aston Martin DB9. In previous videos, I've talked to you about the capabilities of the original infotainment system, what my wish list is for my upgrades, and I've already talked about you know, what plans I have for getting things together. So in this video, my parts have started to arrive, and let's start checking them out. So once I decided to get an Aston Installations HD upgrade kit, I reached out to James and talked to him about what would be the right system and the right options to get. I decided to go for the full Monty, which is going to include the HD screen upgrade, uh, the front and rear parking cameras, the Apple CarPlay, Android Auto component. Um, so basically I went for all the bells and whistles. They went ahead and emailed me an invoice and I sent them a payment. And this is where the, some other good news came. I ordered it on a Thursday and I received the unit in, on a Tuesday, so just a couple of days later. He's in the United Kingdom, I'm in California, USA. So kudos to James and his crew and DHL for getting it here that quickly. All right, I'm eager to see what's in uh, the kit, so let's go ahead and get it open. Well, it's well packed. Let's see what we got here. So, we've got installation instructions, which uh, James has already sent me uh, an electronic version as well. There's some pictures. Well, hopefully this video is gonna be uh, even more detailed than that, so I'll read these a little later. And then what do we have here? Ah, some swag, concierge service, some uh, a notepad. And a thank you note, awesome. So then, now we get into the actual fun bits. Looks like we've got a wiring harness here. And a bunch of various cables that we're probably gonna need. USB extension cables, iPod cables, and This looks like the main harness here. Yeah, there's the fuses that'll go down at the uh, uh, fuse box, and this will probably come up to the, uh, the head unit and the GPS system. Uh, so it will be, and looks like everything's got labels on it, which will make it easier to know what hooks up to what. So that's cool. That's of course the terrifying bit, is how do you get all that installed? What else we got in the box? Ah, so this is reverse. So I'm guessing this is the reverse parking camera. So there's a huge length of cable to reach the back and there's the little camera itself with a little protective cover on it that I'm sure I'll be mounting somewhere under there. And there's the mounting screws and cleaning solutions for that. So that's cool, we've got ourselves a backup cam or the parking camera. Ah, so this must be the uh, replacement uh, in, you know, center console. There's this, the covered up area where we've got the 12 volt outlet. Well, I think this is where the joystick and other things are gonna mount. I believe they 3D print this. So that's a pretty neat piece. It's all been leather wrapped to make it look nice. So we'll see how we use that in a little while. Ah, fiber optic stuff. So this is the MOST, which is the Volvo standard for communication network. And these orange things are not wires, those are fiber optic cables. So this will be a splitter that we're gonna sneak this uh, into the communication bus on the car. And it looks like we've got some uh, basically adapters and cables that go with that, so the most relay. So that's cool. And then, let's see what we've got in here. I bet you this is the big screen. This is the star of the show. 
So in here, this is our new HD screen that will be uh, fitting in place of the original one. And it has its cabling harness and a few things. This is a custom piece that Aston Installations gets made for them. So that's really cool. And uh, leave that out there for now. They'll note that they want the old one back because they refurbished them using the mechanicals. So this looks like uh, probably it says it's the front camera. So it's a Kenwood unit. And so this is my front parking cam. So there's the wiring harness. Also terrifying to, to figure out that I'll be putting all that in. And there's the actual camera itself. I'm gonna leave it wrapped for now, but basically we've got a, a nice parking, our front parking camera, our rear parking camera. And then our final piece here says multimedia integration. Ah, so this is a bespoke Aston installations kit. And this looks like it's the joystick that will be the controller that'll be mounting somewhere probably uh, in the ashtray charging area. And then this is probably the uh, Android uh, Auto CarPlay stuff. And then I bet you there's a whole heap of wires <laughs> which comes with all of these things. So um, that's pretty cool. We'll be getting that set up. Well, now that I have all the parts and pieces, it's time to start reviewing the manual, figuring out how it all goes together. And uh, I'm gonna dig in on that. So down here, you're gonna find a link to my companion blog article where I'll have links to where I purchased all the, uh, these components, how to contact James and things like that. Up here, you're certainly gonna find the next video in the series. It's probably gonna be something, oh, like me interviewing James from Ast Installations or something to do with the project. As always, if you want to get automatically notified when the next video in the series comes out, please go ahead and subscribe. And I'd love to hear your comments. Please leave those down below. Thanks for watching.